Hi, I'm Tane Danger. This is Give to Gustavus Day, and I am, of course, inside Gustavus' beautiful Christ Chapel, and I'm here with Siri Erickson. Hi. Hello. Hi, Tane. And what's your role here? I'm chaplain of the college here. You are chaplain, yes. and we are celebrating a very big milestone for Christ Chapel. We are. It's the 60th anniversary of the chapel. This is so cool. I have a whole billboard of fun facts about 60 years of Christ Chapel. It's very cool. So uh, I'm going to quiz you. I don't know. Oh this is my strange. gosh. So approximately, <laughs> according to this, how many weddings have we had in Christ Chapel? 60? No. 300? Um, that's correct. <laughs> 300. Yeah, just it's, it's either 60 or 300. Yes. Uh, we just were looking, this opening shot, you can, this is so cool, you can see all the way up to the top of the spire, which is approximately... 187 feet tall. That is really good. That is a good chaplain. All right. Um, and you've had eight royal visits according to this? Yes, many members of the Swedish royal family have been here, especially for like key celebrations of the college, like the sesquicentennial, 150 years of the college. We had a number of members of the royal family visiting. And this is wild to me. Not more than 9,000 uh, morning chapel services here. Yes, think about all the students that have participated in some way in those 9,000 services. Well, let's let's take a walk to the back because I feel like this space in particular is like really important and uh, valuable to folks. I mean, I am curious from your perspective, you know, like 60 years of this place being here, what does it mean to people? Right, well, Christ Chapel has always been a place for both religious practice community gathering, and academic learning. So we've had Nobel laureates in here. We've had tons of baccalaureate services, Christian worship, interfaith observances, choir rehearsals. So I think almost all of our Gustavus students have experiences and memories in this space in one of those different types of activities or more than one. And, you know, things uh, are constantly changing and evolving. Like, can you just give it, folks who maybe haven't been back on campus in a little bit, like, what's going on these days? What would people find if they showed up uh, on a weekday or a weekend here? Yeah, so we still do daily Sabbath or daily chapel every Monday through Friday. Here's yeah. our schedule right here. We also have a very active student Christian community that worships Sunday evening in the chapel, which is a little different than maybe 50 years ago. Um, and, you know, last year was really interesting in yeah. the chapel, right, with COVID. So every Tuesday we turn the chapel over to a mass testing site oh. for COVID. So students were coming in here. Like the, the, the opposite that, of like know? communion is that you, now you're yes. giving a saliva sample. You are, yeah. you are. But, you know, uh, religious spaces have always had do multiple purposes. Yeah. And healing is central to the Christian tradition, and so it made sense to have the chapel be in service to testing and keeping our campus safe and healthy. So last thing, I, again, it's hard to talk about the chapel without talking about this tragic tornado that hit the campus, tore down the spire of right. uh, Christ Chapel, but that spire lives on. It lives on. Right we, here. We keep it right here. And so this as, is still still yeah, here. As it's still member. here. It's a memory. It's a sign of the resilience of this community, and that you know Gustavus continues to rise and thrive even in the midst of difficult cir circumstances, whether it be the tornado or a global pandemic. Yeah. Well, that is beautiful. Thank you so much, Siri, for yeah. showing us around. This is beautiful. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. It is Give to Gustavus Day. This beautiful place, it, for, this is the 60th anniversary of Christ Chapel, so 60 years of amazing celebrations, commemorations, services, memories, uh, really special things. So I uh, hope that you got a, a little bit of a walk down memory lane and to see what's going on now. All right, so this is cool. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, thank you. Yay!